Hi everybody, today we'll take a look at the new ground vehicles in the Italian Tech Tree in the update Sons of Attila of War Thunder. We will discuss only the vehicles related to the Italian armed forces or Italian military industry. All of the skins will reflect this as none of these colors reflect the original ones in game. We will move from low to high following the BRs. So we start from the 2S1. You can find this vehicle at tier 4 at BR 6.0. It has a 4 man crew, commander, driver, loader and gunner. Its whole armor is 14mm for the lower part, while the upper part is 7mm thick. The turret armor is 14mm for the turret front, while the mantlet is 20 plus 14mm thick. It is armed with the 2A31 122mm gun, capable of firing the 3OF24 HE high explosive and the 3OF56 HE shell. The 3BK10 ETFS high explosive anti tank fin stabilized shell and the 3OF7 HEVT high explosive variable time fuse shell. This vehicle is linked to the Italian military industry via a proposed upgrade made by the Italian Marconi company in the 90s after the Cold War. The aim of the modification was to upgrade the firing control system for the Eastern European nations still operating the 2S1. The skin you can see on the vehicle represents the classic color used by the Italian Army's vehicle, color with which the rendering of the upgrade vehicle was presented. We move then to the anti-aircraft line. This is the ZSU-57-2. You can find this vehicle at tier 5 at BR 7.0. It has a 6-man crew, commander, driver, three loaders and a gunner. Its all armor is 15mm for the lower part, while the upper part is 13.5mm thick. The turret armor is 14mm for both the turret front and the mantlet. It is armed with two S68 57mm cannons capable of firing HE a explosive shell and APCBC armor piercing capped ballistic capped shot arranged in four different belts. The standard one, the OR281U, the BR281SP and the BR281U. This vehicle is linked to the Italian Armed Forces thanks to Italy creating a mock-up of this vehicle to be used for training as a VSMOD and it was created around the 1970s. The vehicle could be found at the polygon of Salto di Quirra, where the three different branches of the Italian Armed Forces tested their weapons and trained with their personnel. Currently it is unknown if the vehicle is still present on site. The skin of the vehicle represents the one used by the mock-up. We then find the BTR-80A. You can find this vehicle at tier 5 at BR 7.3. It has a 3-man crew, commander, driver and gunner. Its whole armor is 12mm for the lower part, while the upper part is between 5mm and 10mm. The turret armor is 13 and 23mm thick. It is armed with the 2A72 30mm gun and a coaxial PKT 7.62mm machine gun. The main gun is capable of firing APT armor piercing tracer, HEFI high explosive fragmentation incendiary and HEFT high explosive fragmentation tracer and the APDS armor piercing discharging sable rounds arranged in four different belts. The vehicle is linked to the Italian army via the usage of said vehicle by Italian soldiers during the exercise of the multinational NATO battle group guided by the Italian armed forces. Said exercise took place in 2007 and the color of the skin I'm using reflects the color of this vehicle. We move back again to the anti-aircraft line and we find the ZSU-234. You can find this vehicle at tier 6 at BR 8.0. It has a 4 man crew, commander, driver, loader and gunner. Its whole armor is 9.4mm overall. The turret armor is 8.9mm thick overall. 
It is armed with four AZP-23 cannons that can fire HEFI high explosive fragmentation incendiary, HEFIT high explosive fragmentation incendiary tracer, and APIT more piercing incendiary tracer rounds arranged in three different belts. The same as the ZSU-57-2, this vehicle is linked to the Italian Armed Forces via a mock-up of this vehicle created for the polygon of Salto di Quirra. It is unfortunately unknown if said vehicle is still present on site. The skin I use represents the mock-up. The next vehicle we find is the T-72M1. You can find this vehicle at Tier 6 at BR 9.3. It is a three-man crew, commander, driver and gunner. The lower part of the hull offers up to 230mm of protection against chemical rounds and 170mm against kinetic. The higher part of the hull offers up to 540mm against chemical rounds and 360mm against kinetic. The turret front offers up to 640mm of protection against chemical round and 400mm of protection against kinetic rounds. It is armed with the 2A46M 125mm gun, a coaxial PKT 7.62mm and a roof-mounted 12.7mm NSVT machine gun. The main gun is capable of firing the 3BK12M 8FS high explosive anti-tank fin stabilized shell, the 3OF26 HE high explosive, the 3BM9, the 3BM15 and the 3BM22 APFSDS armor piercing fin stabilized discarding sable. This vehicle is linked to the Italian industry via the modification of the tank to create this T-72M1S variant for the Syrian army at the end of the 1990s. The main difference was the addition of the Turns T fire control system. The skin I use represents the T-72M1S prototype of which is available one photo showing Italian experts working on, it, on the vehicle. This is the Leopard 2A4. You can find this vehicle at tier 7 at BR 10.3. It has a four man crew, commander, driver, loader, and gunner. The lower part of the hull offers up a protection up to 400mm against chemical and 240mm against kinetic rounds. The upper part of the hull offers up to 620mm against chemical and 300mm against kinetic rounds. The turret front offers up to 870mm of protection against chemical and up to 440mm of protection against kinetic rounds. It is armed with the RH120L44 120mm gun, a co coaxial and a roof mounted MG3A1 7.62mm machine gun. The main gun is capable of firing the DM-12 ETFS, high explosive anti-tank fin stabilized, the DM-13 and DM-23 APFSDS armor piercing fin stabilized discarding sable shot. This vehicle is linked to the Italian army that in the 2010s was looking for a new MBT to replace the C1 Ariete. The Leopard 2A4 was proposed together with the Merkava and the M1 Abrams, but nothing was chosen. The skin I'm using is the classic color used by the Italian army vehicles, color with which the rendering was showed when the vehicle was proposed. The last vehicle for today is the KF-41. You can find this vehicle at tier 7 at BR 10.7. It is a three-man crew, commander, driver and gunner. The lower part of the hull offers up to 27mm of armor. The upper part of the hull offers up to 150mm of protection, while the turret front offers up to 80mm of protection. This vehicle is also protected by an active protection system capable of intercepting ATMGs. It is armed with the MK32 ABM 30mm gun, a coaxial M240 7.62mm machine gun, and a roof mounted M2 HP 12.7mm machine gun, and two Spike LR2 MR ATGMs. The main gun is capable of firing a PDS armor piercing discarded in Sebo, HEIT explosive incendiary tracer, the AHEAD, and the APFSDS armor piercing fin stables discarded in Sebo rounds, arranged in different belts. The Spike ATMG is a tandem warhead infrared guiding anti tank missile.
This vehicle is linked to the Italian Army because the KF-41 was proposed to the Italian Army as an import alternative to the national vehicles for the AICS program to procure a replacement for the Dardo IFV. The Lynx is currently the main con uh, candidate for the replacement. The skin I use in game is the same tricolor camouflage used lately by the Italian Army, with which the vehicle was showed in the rendering for the proposal.